The holiday season means a lot of driving and a lot of people are staying up late and getting up early and that means drowsy driving is happening to more people and more often than you might think. Tonight AAA says they've discovered it's a much larger and more dangerous problem than we realized. Local 4 Business Editor Rod Maloney breaks down some of the findings. Rod. Steve, you know, they tell us that you shouldn't go hang out at the bar all night and then go for a drive, right? Well, guess what? You shouldn't get two or three hours of sleep at night and then go drive because, truth be told, they're the same. We've all gotten angry at drivers rolling signalists in our lane or slowing down unexpectedly, and yet we've all done it, too. Bryn Drawn remembers a snowy ride to Lansing. Bryn went clubbing the night before and had to make it to work the next day and I didn't get a lot of sleep and it was snowing. And so what happened was I was driving too, fl too fast on a curve and my car did a 360, but it ended up going straight, like turning around and it ended up straight in the direction of traffic. Stephanie White dozed off in the summertime. After working in the summer, doing a summer job, I um, did maintenance and I worked outside and it was really hot, about 90 degrees and painting and different things. And I was sleep deprived and it was hard to drive. And instincts will tell you if you lack of sleep, it's almost like feeling like you're intoxicated. AAA started testing this couple of years ago, and now it's discovered Bryn is exactly right. We'll be adding new and in fact, a third of all drivers on the road they're finding out are sleep deprived in the past 24 hours. AAA's Gary Bubar says it's the person fighting sleep that's most dangerous. Forget about falling asleep at the wheel, but just slowing your reaction times, slowing your judgment, slowing your ability to determine what drivers around you are doing. And it turns out most of the things we do to try and stave off nodding off. I would drive with the windows down, the radio up. I'd try to drink water on the drives, try and stay awake. Don't work. Right, so, all right, you get three or four hours of sleep. That's they tell us is the number. If you're getting that little, it accumulates and it causes trouble for that day, the next day, the next day after that. So they say you've got to get more sleep. Or if you're going to do something like that, you need to go on a long drive tired, do what you do with a drunk driving situation and have a designated driver. Here's another thing that can help you. If you say need to go out and buy a pop or a coffee, don't go through the drive through Get out of the car, stretch, walk around, re refresh yourself, then get back behind the wheel. Reporting live downtown, Rod Maloney, Local 4.